How's it going guys? Jake here from Dude Ranch DIY. We are out here in the wood yard. If you watched the last video, it might look like I'm still in the same clothes and that's because I am. It's merely two minutes later after I just finished filming the ending to uh, the last video you probably just saw. And uh, I said that we're going to be splitting up some of this here hickory behind me and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. I got the grapple on the tractor right now because we were just cutting it up. So I gotta swap that out for the pallet forks. I am going to grab a fresh 330 gallon IBC tote from uh, the IBC tote mountain behind me. And uh, we're gonna make some really nice hickory firewood today. So uh, stick with me and uh, we're gonna get splitting. So guys, just gonna fill up the splitter here. Um, but I was thinking, you know, it's been a while since I just did a good old fashioned firewood video. So I'm probably just gonna let the camera roll here. I'll probably move it around a couple times. Um, but for all you wood hounds and firewood fanatics that like to hear the logs getting split and uh, watching it pop open in real time, this is gonna be the video for you guys. Um, honestly, it's a lot easier for me both to uh, make the video and to edit the video to do it that way. But, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below if you like that kind of thing or if you prefer the time lapses and fast forwarded with the, uh, you know, transitions and fun music. Um, because honestly, I'm happy to make the videos however you want. Personally, that's the way that I like them. I think the jump cuts and everything makes it a little bit more interesting than just watching somebody stand here for 20 minutes splitting wood back and forth but you know what to each their own so let me know in the comment section and uh we're gonna get splitting here would it help if i uh turn the key on So since I'm doing a real-time splitting video here, I thought I'd throw in a voiceover to make it a little bit more interesting and just kind of talk about how I like to split and the rugged made splitter and uh, my whole process. Now, obviously I'm splitting hickory here, albeit pretty straight. Um, you know, hickory, it it's always gonna be a little bit stringy, at least more stringy than ash and oak and stuff like that that just pops open. Um, so you can see I was peeling it apart, but for the most part, the four-way wedge works really well for these rounds just because of their size and everything. Um, the the six-way, I think would just end up making a mess because the pieces are a little bit too big for the six-way wedge. Whereas the four-way, I can split it into quarters and then take those quarters and push them through one more time. And then I'm basically left with, um, you know, four nice pieces or nice size pieces of firewood. 
Now some of them I do go back and split more, um, being that it's hickory. I am trying to split it a little bit smaller. That way it'll hopefully dry out a little bit faster and more efficiently. Um, you know, this stuff obviously doesn't dry as fast as soft maple or cherry or ash um, species like that. But I like splitting it like this and then just once the catch table has enough pieces on it, I'll pause and kind of go stack it up directly into the tote. Um, this might not be the most efficient way as far as, you know, from a productivity standpoint. Um, I think it would probably be faster if I were to just split it all up into a pile and then come back at a later date or once I'm done splitting and stack it all up directly into the totes. But because I'm often by myself and don't necessarily know exactly when I'll be able to get back out to the wood yard based on my schedule, um, I like to do it this way just because I know that it's done. It's one and done. I split what I split, I stack what I stack, and I never get too far ahead of myself as far as the splitting goes or too far behind on the stacking. Um, that way it's also not sitting on the ground collecting you know, bugs and dirt and stuff getting rained on. It basically gets split, stacked directly into the tote, and covered up immediately. That way it can begin its process of drying. So it just works well for me. Again, I'm not saying it's the most productive or time efficient uh, method to be splitting, but it's what I found to work well and I'm happy with the results overall. So another thing I wanted to touch on here was just the use of IBC totes. Now, I think if you watch firewood videos on YouTube or um, are into firewood, you've seen IBC totes. If you're watching my channel, you've obviously seen me use IBC totes. And I think most people could probably tell I'm a huge advocate for them. Um, if you have the means to move them around when full, being that a skid steer or a, a tractor that's large enough to be able to lift them when full, um, I think it is probably one of the most time-saving things you could do to maximize you know, your, your firewood output. Um, if you're running a small operation kind of like I am and not using you know, big conveyors and firewood processors and everything, um, but you're just using a splitter by hand, 
um, whether you, you sell some wood or if you're just using it for your own wood, if you have a machine to move those totes around, I think you should be using IBC totes. Just because, as you can see here, I split it directly into the tote and stack it. And uh, like I mentioned before, it's kind of one, one and done. And you don't really have to handle the wood again. And then when you're ready to either sell it or bring it into your house, it's already all stacked up. You don't have to throw it into a trailer or a wheelbarrow or anything. It's all in its container and you can move it around extremely easily. I've even gone as far as building a pallet on big caster wheels that uh, if you go back in the videos you'll see me using it and I can literally put the IBC tote down on the pallet with the caster wheels right in my basement and wheel it directly um, to where I want it in my basement that way I don't have to go outside I can literally go down into the basement in my underwear and bring firewood up in the middle of the winter don't have to worry about brushing off the snow or ice or anything like that it's nice and dry and uh, the IBC totes just make life a lot easier for me. Well guys, I couldn't resist throwing in a time lapse. It's amazing how fast I can split wood. I wish we could all split wood this fast in real life, but um, as you can see, I fill up the tote in about 45-50 minutes, I think, and uh, it's a really nice tote full of beautiful hickory. So I'll look forward to when that's all seasoned up. All right, guys, there we have it. One full, large full tote of beautiful hickory. This stuff is really nice. It's split surprisingly well for hickory. Um, I was definitely splitting it smaller, um, so that way it dries a little faster, but this stuff is really nice. I might end up saving this tote for myself um, because that would last me quite some time in the wood stove, uh, you know, in those really cold February months. Um, we got a decent amount of rounds left over. Um, I will definitely bust out a uh, smaller tote and split that stuff up into that um, next time I come out here. But uh, I'm actually pretty curious to see, I think the tractor will pick this up. It, it shouldn't pick it up uh, without too, too much of a problem. Um, it picks up the, uh, you know, oak, no problem. So hickory's just about the same weight um, so yeah, I'm happy. Made some progress here. So let me try and uh, pick up this tote. We'll slap a, a cover on it and uh, get it in line to uh, continue drying. so the tractor picked up the tote uh, no problem I did have to rev it up you know quite a bit but uh, that's to be expected with this heavy hickory um, so I got some tops right here some lids so uh, I'm gonna throw one on and we'll get this thing covered boom these things make awesome roofs I just grabbed one of these bungee cords, link for them, uh, I think should be in the description, but uh, I just latch it on, pull it over, and now my wood is covered, the top is secure, and it can go in the row of uh, all the other wood waiting to be uh, seasoned. So guys, the other camera ran out of power as I was putting the tote down in the stack here, but uh, I'm not exactly sure where it cut out, but um, before I put it up against the other totes, I wrote hickory, I denoted that, that way um, I know it's hickory for myself. Uh, one, if I decide to sell it, I would just charge more because it's an entire tote 
full of really nice hickory wood um, or two that way I just know it's hickory if I decide to keep it for myself for the wood stove um, I also wrote the date on it as I do with most of the totes um, at the very least I'll just put the month and the year that way I have a rough idea of when it was you know split and stacked um, that way I know roughly when it should be done um, seasoning so it is in the row here and uh, that's gonna wrap up this video so as always guys hope you enjoyed um, this was just a good old-fashioned firewood video as I like to call them um, I did throw a time-lapse in there just because uh, I ended up splitting for it was about an hour um, to fill up this large tote uh, by myself splitting and stacking um, I don't think that's too bad hickory is pretty stringy so some of the pieces took little bit more time but uh such is life no problem so as always if you like the video give it a big thumbs up if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button down below i'd really appreciate it questions comments or feedback throw it down there in that comment section but for now i'm jake this is dude ranch diy thanks so much for watching we'll see you here next time